hi friends in this session we will going to see how to do the correlation analysis in op stat okay you can see here the op stat website you can see here the correlation analysis you can just click on this correlation analysis okay you will get this type of text box okay you need to enter the data in the text box okay let's go to the our excel sheet okay let me explain this is our uh, excel sheet program for the card pearson correlation coefficient so that you need to just give the input of your parameters and you will get the exact similar values which you will get from the op stat okay so we will going to use this data for the op stat okay so we can copy this data okay just right click and copy we have the 14 variables okay just open our op stat the right click and paste data here you can see enter the character name if you want to put the character name you can put here the character name otherwise not need to put any character name uh, this software automatically take as a x1 x2 x3 like then just click on the submit button okay now you need to fill some information about your uh, correlation so that you should have to mention the total variables you can see here we have total 14 variables so that we put here 14 then observations per variable okay let's count the observations per variable we can see here the count is 11 so that we can put 11 okay another the variable numbers we can set the position right so that we can put up to the 14 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 up to 14 okay you can see here the type of correlation here they provided us three type of correlation first is a pearson correlation then second is a spearman rank correlation and third is a Kendall tau correlation okay so in this session we will going to see only the Pearson correlation okay just click on analyze okay you can see here you will get the descriptive statistic in that you will get the character character uh, you can call it it a parameter okay whatever your parameter you can see the character one character to up to the 14 character you will get the numbers already we put the numbers 11 11 in each character then you will get the mean for the each character then standard deviation and standard error okay and below you will get the correlation coefficient matrix for the pearson okay you can see here you will get the character one versus character one you will get the one because correlation lies between minus one to plus one okay so for second character you will get the 0 0.939 and you can see here the two stars are there right so two star are indicator of one percent level of significant okay if there is a one star that is the five percent level of significance okay just you can copy paste this for your thesis purpose okay let's i'll explain how to do in excel excel it is also a very easy just you need to copy paste your data here and you will get everything in this software okay this is the advanced software as compared to the op stat okay you can see here this software is handling up to the 100 variables up to and uh, 100 number of column and 100 number of rows okay so you can see you will get the similar values 
like descriptive statistic then mean then standard deviation then standard error and you will get the carl pearson correlation coefficient matrix with the significant t tables okay two stars indicate 1% one star indicate 5% you will get the correlation matrix over here okay you can uh, just put the half part of this table or just you can put the whole table as it is below that you will get the extra thing that is the significance at one tail or two tail okay both you will get in this excel sheet so that we are selling this type of excel sheet if you need this type of excel sheet then definitely contact us we will provide you this type of excel sheet but it's a paid excel sheet if you need then definitely contact us you just go to the description box of this video and you will um, get the my whatsapp number link and just click and uh, contact me and then i will provide you the information regarding this okay thank you so much